Hey there everyone, I'm Valkyphanoite, and welcome back to Tales of Dens- Uh, yeah, welcome back to Tales of Density! The McFly version of the game. <laughs> uh, boy, I knew I was gonna do that someday. Think, McFly, think! <laughs> uh, yeah, last time we got here to a new continent. And we got to the port town of Cherik. And we talked to Baruch, who is in charge of this area. And today we are gonna leave Cherik and we are gonna go to the capital of Calvalese. Now, since last time, as I said, I went a little bit shop shopping and I got some new armor stuff for my character. I got iron gloves for everyone. Everyone means Stan, Leon, and Mary. I got uh, let's see, Leon already had the armor iron helm, didn't he? I think so. But Mary, of course, got both the iron helm and an iron glove. They do have better weapons for Mary, but it's not worth buying. You'll see why in a little bit, but anyway. The most important thing, though, in this area is actually at this guy. This is an equipment shop. Yeah, I know that. Thank you. He actually sells rune bottles. And those who watch Tales of Fantasia, you know how much I love these. The liquid in this bottle will help you identify unknown objects. So I'm gonna buy five of them. They are a little bit pricey, but it is well worth it. Because... Remember that we got those question mark discs back um, down in the underwater city. And uh, just like in Fantasia, when you use a rune bottle on a question mark item, it will turn into a different item. Or, actually, item you can equip. So this question mark disc turns into a SP numbers 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 disc. And the other one will turn into a SW numbers numbers numbers. Yeah. And I will also use it on my Bellbane, which will turn into a red Bellbane. And I'm gonna use it on my Savory to turn it into a red Savory, which means it will have a bigger boost, as you see. Now I have two red savories, and I got one red bellbane, which I'm gonna use on Stan right now. And the special discs, with just numbers and run with random numbers on them. These are also very, very nice. They don't give you a spell, but as you see, they will give a pretty good boost in stats. Okay, not this one that well, but this one, it got 20 slash and 20 thrust. That is awesome. So I'm going to give that to Stan since he doesn't have a disc. Uh, yeah, it's this one. And I will give the other one to... Yeah, let's give it to Philia since she doesn't have a disc either. Yeah, very nice. But I think that's everything we can do in this town for now. Or it's not, there's still the warehouse. And there is also a mini game you can play if you talk to the kids. But I'm going to go over that when I come back to this place. Because, yeah, surprise, we are coming back later on. But for now, let's head into the big, great desert. Yeah, huge desert, want to say. Now that we're in the desert, though, there's one thing that I've been dying to say. There's sand on my boots! That is all. Ah, <laughs> oh, Kafka. You are so quotable. <laughs> But as we go up here, you will actually see the next town right away. Yeah. I'm not complaining, mind you, but still. It's a very short way to the next town, so I'm just gonna walk around a little bit here and at least show you some of the new enemies, because, of course, there's new, new enemies here. Then we can also look a little bit... Uh, take a look at the everything that happens here. I mean, we got lava right outside the city. That's probably not a good idea. Or, good idea, it's not that they actually have any control over that, but still, uh, Eternia was okay, considering the, uh, the uh, Ifrit Gorge was kind of far out, but this, not so good. <laughs> anyway, we got some new enemies here, Scorpions, Worm, and Desert Fly. The Scorpions can poison you, of course, which is annoying. But uh, <laughs> when I watched the raw files for the two last episodes, I guess, I saw that I actually forgot to show you something that I just got. I actually didn't use this. At all. And yeah, that was kind of bad slowdown, but... Either that or a black, huge black line on the screen. Yeah, the slowdown really isn't that bad. 
bad, really. But yeah, that was Rekusan! Or Tempest, of course, if you're uh, into the later games. And as you see with the combo counter, ooh, new spell. We also get bonus experience for the combos we do. Not a huge boost, but when you do good enough, your boost will be pretty, pretty big. <laughs> but yeah, Leon got a new spell, which is Hammer Blow. For some reason, Leon is the one to get Pow Hammer, or Pico Hammer. I don't really get that. I thought it would be Rudy or Philia, but no, Leon. That's kind of... That's different. <laughs> I, I have to say that. But I think actually we've seen all the new enemies in this place. There might be some rare ones, I don't... I can't remember, but... Uh, let's just go into the next Monopoly PS Village instead of just stalling. This is Calviola, the capital city of Calvalese. And it got the same awesome music. Da, 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 da. Love this place. And right off the bat, we have the, uh, the the weapon shop. So let's see what they got. I don't have anything to sell you. Get out of here now. Uh, okay, fine. Now, as I said earlier in the beginning of this part, I did not buy a new weapon for Mary. She still got the fine saber. And there is a big reason for that, because uh, we will be able to buy weapons in this shop, but not right now. And one of the weapons we can buy here is insanely good. It's gonna make Mary a powerhouse. Can we buy armor then? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, good. I want to buy three ring mails for Stanley and Mary. And I want to buy... No, actually, that's it. <laughs> yes, three ring mails. Sweet. Everyone getting some new armor. Awesome. Pretty good boost, too. Really, really good. There we go, and... No. And there we go. Yes, awesome. Now, why wouldn't that guy sell us weapons? I don't really know, but I know what we can do to actually be able to buy weapons from him. The number of monsters has increased. It's all because of the darn foreigners. Ah, right. This town doesn't really like foreigners at all. They say they smuggle monsters in, and that's why the... the weapon guy won't sell us any weapons. But uh, let's change that. And I didn't find out this for a lot... for the longest time. <laughs> You actually want to almost, almost exit the town. Go down here, and follow this wall. Hey, cut it out! Stay the beep away from me! Glurp! <laughs> this is the son, I believe, of the uh, weapon shop guy. What? You want to get smacked? Ugh, you're pretty tough! How about this? <laughs> ah! You no good bastard! Oh god. What are you doing? That's crazy! Get the peep out of my way! I'm gonna protect this town! I don't need no foreigner's help! What an arrogant snot! Yeah, you tell me. Here I come, damn monsters! Slurp! <laughs> now, if I actually was smart enough, or actually remembered, to talk to the Darkwings back in uh, Janos. Whoop! I remembered the, I remember the name! <laughs> it was Janos! Back in the bar in Janos. They would come here and they would try to defeat the slug. And fail miserably at it. <laughs> it's actually a pretty funny scene, but of course I didn't talk to them in the bar, so... Uh, sadly, there won't be many Blackwing moments in this playthrough. Maybe I'm gonna make a bonus episode of that, just showing all the, the Blackwing scenes. Which means I have to go through the game again, but... Uh, I'll, I'll think about it. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> blurp. Ugh, I'm not afraid. I'm afraid. <laughs> Let's handle this. And of course, we have to fight them. And these are the exact same enemies as the one that was on in the underwater city, so I'm just gonna cut the rest of this battle right now. After I show this. <laughs> I love this skill. Looks so funny. And that's that. What? What's the deal here? I could have killed it by myself. Uh, 
you had problems with one, and we had four of them in that battle, and a cut of the fish, so no, you could not. Don't interfere with my business, you beep bastards! Wow, ungrateful little snot, for sure. But now that we've done that, for some reason, he, the guy at the weapon shop, will sell us weapons because... I don't know, because we saved this kid or something? Don't really know why, it doesn't really make much sense, but... Yeah, he is here now, so let's see. Hey, it's you. You're the kid who was having a hard time with the monster. Are you hurt? Uh, what a weird kid, indeed. But now let's talk to the, the weapon guy. I don't normally like foreigners, but I'll make an exception for you. I have to let you buy something. What do you want? Well, you have some very, very fine weapons here, good sir. They have the Weldon, which is a nice sword. They have a battle axe, which is also 70 slash and 25 thrust. Sure, not bad at all. But then we have the bastard sword. 80 slash and 80 thrust. And this is the reason why I did not buy a weapon for Mary. Look at this freaking insane thing. 80, 80, and 3 hit. I am definitely buying this thing. This is probably the only time in the game that I would actually think about getting a new weapon for my sword in users, just because the, uh, the bastard sword is so insanely good, but... Uh, I'm not gonna do that, they would kinda kill the point of actually having a Zordian, since they level up with experience, and if you don't have them equipped, they will not level up. But yeah, 121 times 2. Heck yeah! I mean, oh that's a bad example. 80, 84 and 64. And Stan got, let's just do this, 99.99. Wow, 57, damn. The Zordians are getting along very good, but still, the Bastard Sword is just insane! <laughs> the sword is awesome. The end. <laughs> yeah, I had a little, had to do a little cut there because I had to go and do something. And also, I remember this. You want to talk to the kid again. Hey, I'll give this to you. And we get the Charm Bottle. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. No. The circle button work, thank you. Of course, it will give you a 30% discount in stores. Very, very nice. But, uh, yeah, what we have right here is actually, believe it or not, right in the middle of the city, we have the Strayless Temple of this place. Excuse me. Yes, yes, how can I help you? My name is Philia Felice, a priestess of Sin from Sinegald. I'd like to ask you something. Oh, a priestess. You must have traveled a long way from Senegal. And now, what would you like to ask me? I believe a statue has been brought here. No, I haven't heard a thing about any statue. Then, did Leiden visit the temple? The high priest has not visited here, no. Okay, I understand. Let's go. Hmm, interesting. So he has not been here, huh? It's strange. What? I only said Leiden's name. But that man knew that Leiden was a high priest. Ooh, that is true. Is it that unusual for him to know the name of a high priest? Please, spare us your ignorance. Leiden is not a high rank bishop or archbishop. Priests at other temples would know the name of a mere high priest. Hey, back off! I believe Leon is right. This can only mean that he is somehow connected to Leiden. Then, if we grill them for information... That's funny because you got the sword on fire. <laughs> <coughs> really? I'm real, I was the only one that thought that was funny? Eh, I'm sad. I don't think so. They're just a bunch of useless underlings. Hmm. How about sneaking in during the night? Then... I'll stay at the temple. I'll be able to unlock the back door from the inside when it gets dark. Fine, do it. Alright, we'll stay at the inn and wait until nightfall. Good luck, Philia. I'll be fine, since Clementis will be with me. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. Don't you worry about a thing. Okay, then. 
Okay, I'm leaving now. Hmm. We'll wait at the end. Yes, we will. So now we have to sneak into the temple at night time. Just like we did in Tales of Fantasia and the, uh, the castle. Yay, I like how they reuse stuff like that. It's fun. <laughs> Oh, right, we have the lunch shop here, or the lens, the Oberon Corporation shop. How about we just go and check? I believe they got some new stuff before we went this off. Let's see. Yes, they sell Oberol EX, which will restore 60%, uh, 65% of your maximum HP. Very nice, and life bottles for some reason. Eh, I'm not gonna buy anything. But, yeah, as I was trying to say, or as I was going to say before I saw the, the lens sign, very nice actually, I like how it looks. But yeah, as I was going to say, once again, <laughs> we are going to sneak into the palace. <laughs> the orcs in. Orcs must die! <clears throat> we are going <laughs> to... Okay, third time's the charm. We are going to sneak into the holy palace. That sounds bad, but we are doing it for good. That makes everything better. Yeah, just like when we snuck into the royal castle back in Fantasia. Yeah. We almost lost our heads back then, but I guess it's not going to be that bad this time. Right? Eh, let's hope. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then.